Okay, we have question one, and it says explain the difference between the in, uh, where's my pen, my pen, my pen, just hold on. Let me just get my little penny, penny, pen. Okay, explain the difference between the internal and external fertilization. People, internal is inside, external is outside. It's as simple as that. So, let's do this. Okay, so internal fertilization occurs inside the female's body, let's put an apostrophe, okay, and external fertilization occurs outside the female's body. Okay, now, when, we, when you're looking at internal fertilization, you have, the male will have a copulatory organ, like um, in humans, males have a penis. In fact, in all mammals, males have a penis. And that's a copulatory organ. And the copulatory organ is simply to deposit sperm into the female. All right, into the female's vagina. It will then go up to the uterus and to the fallopian tubes where fertilization will take place. Okay, but you must also understand that internal fertilization doesn't require water. It is a protected environment and a controlled environment because fertilization takes place inside in that controlled environment. You don't need a lot of sperm and a, or a lot of egg cells because the chances of fertilization are very high. Okay, and internal fertilization, those organisms that, that uh, uh, can literally reproduce anywhere in the world. All right, whether it's in the Antarctic, whether it's um, in the desert, they can reproduce, they are able to reproduce because it's internal fertilization, it's controlled. External fertilization is not a controlled environment because it's outside. The female will lay her eggs and the male will swim along and it's in water and the male will swim along and he will spray his sperm or deposit his sperm over the eggs. Now, if there's a storm, the sperm gets washed away and those eggs don't get fertilized. So they need to produce a lot of eggs and a lot of sperm to ensure continuation of the species. All right. So just remember that, that it's um, with external fertilization, it is not a controlled environment. And then, of course, let's think of predators. For internal uh, um, uh, uh, fertilization, uh, when that little embryo grows, it's protected. Whereas external fertilization, you've got all those predators that come along and, and can munch the little eggs before they fertilized or the little eggs after they've been fertilized. So external fertilization um, is sort of, sort of a bit back as far as evolution is concerned. And internal fertilization is an evolutionary technique or an evolutionary movement so that we can actually reproduce on land. Okay, so that's the whole came from water and now on land thing. Please remember all of that because they ask you uh, um, short questions or multiple choice questions. All the questions in section A, they're always covered here with your, your whole, all your strategies. Now, the next strategy that we're going to look at says tabulate, tabulate three differences between oviparous and viviparous. All right, now, I just want to tell you something. Look here. For oviparous, all right, O is a round thing. O is the shape of an egg, okay? And O is the letter that the word outside starts with. So if you remember oviparous, it's for eggs or egg laying, and it happens outside the female's body. Whereas viviparous has a lot of vi, 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 I think of IV for live, 
Okay, live. So viviparous is for live births and oviparous is for eggs. Now they say tabulate. So when they say tabulate, this little word here, you must make sure that you write, draw, that you draw a table because that's going to give you a mark after you've put your headings in. So now you write oviparous um, development and viviparous development. And please don't misspell it because look, the spelling is here for you to see. Right, so oviparous, I'm going to put here, I want you to remember this, okay? O is for outside. O for oviparous and O is the shape of an egg. So oviparous tells you they're little eggs that are going to be laid. All right, now for viviparous, think of IV. So IV, the IV is for live. Okay, IV for live. So they're going to give birth to live young. Here we go. The differences here, and I'm not going to write all these words out. So fertilization is internal or external. Okay, internal or external. Here, fertilization um, is only internal. Okay. Then, um, eggs are laid outside body. Outside female's body. Okay, outside. Outside the female's body. And here, embryo develops inside the female body. Okay, and also inside, so you've got all these eyes there, eye for inside, eye for live. All right, then here the embryo gets nutrients from the egg sac. So embryo, nutrients from egg yolk sac. Ay, ay, ay. And the reason they get their nutrients from the, from the yolk sac is because there is no placental connection. Remember, the embryo is growing outside the female's body. So there's no placental connection. They must get their nutrients from the egg yolk sac. All right, and here for viviparous, the embryo um, uh, gets nutrients from female's placenta via the umbilical cord. Okay, so it's the umbilical cord that is going to supply that little embryo, that developing embryo with all the nutrients it needs and, and oxygen and it's going to take all the wastes away. Okay, and then, um, okay, so that's three. Let's think of one more. Um, the eggs hatch outside the female body. You see, outside the female body. Okay, and with viviparous, um, female gives birth to, a, to live young. Female gives birth to live young. Okay, so it's the whole process of giving birth. So people remember, viviparous is live. Oviparous is an egg outside the body. Viviparous, live and inside the body. Now, you get something called ovoviviparous. Now, if we have I got a bit of space here? Let's, I'm going to write it here. Um, o Vo, the, the, per, Ovo is for oviparous. Viva for viviparous. So this 
is a combo of these two. Okay, so in oviviviparous, the female doesn't have a uterus, so there is no placental connection. She develops eggs, the eggs are fertilized inside her body, and they're not eggs as a hard egg shell, it's a soft, membranous, jelly-like shell that's around it, and the, the, the eggs are fertilized, and then they grow in this pouch. And when the eggs are ready and the baby and, and the embryos are ready, they hatch inside the female's body and she then gives birth to live young. And that's because there is no placental connection. She cannot feed them. Okay, let's look at our last question. And the last, explain the difference between precocial and ultracial. Okay, now, precocial develop, uh, development. Now I'm going to do this again. Let me just quickly erase that. No, this erase is also not doing its thing. Okay, right. So, precocial. Think of pre as prepared. Also, on the funny side, if you say a child is precocious, they are cheeky and they think they've all grown up. So you can have a 10-year-old that thinks they're 35 and we say the kid is precocious. So precocial, try and remember precocial, prepared. These bubbas come out and they are ready to rock and roll. Your precocial young, um, young are developed and mature. All right, um, they are mobile, so they can run, they can move. You think of a baby snake that hatches. That little thing that hatches out of there is almost as poisonous as his mom and dad are, and he can boogie around as he wants to. He can catch his own food. He doesn't need mommy and daddy to look after him. So your precocial bubbas come out, they are prepared. So mobile, independent, okay. They're mobile, they're independent, they can find their own food, etc. Okay, whereas your ultracial babas, here the young are undeveloped, undeveloped, almost finished, they are immature, they are not mobile, they can't move. Just think of a newborn baby, okay, a newborn human baby. They are fully dependent on parents for survival. Okay, they need their mom and dad. If they aren't there, they will starve to death. They can't control their body temperature where your precocial animal can. Think of a calf when it's born, it can run. Okay, whereas a baby, it sits there and it just lies there, go, 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 and if you don't feed it, it's dead. <laughs>